ballot and the anthem. As the waiter approaches, you think, is this one mine or that one? Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. Make a reservation online at ruthschris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. It's the PM Show, Nationwide Coast to Coast, CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. Once again, Fred Dreyer. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm not so excited for the Dodgers. It's the first game of a doubleheader, and they're losing. I they've think, lost three, it. Three to one. Did they lose yeah, it? I think they've, it's gone. Oh, it's come over. On. Come on. Yeah. You and I can pitch them. We do the bad. show live on Wednesdays, and they've already lost it. How many more have they lost till a weekend edition there? I'm, I'm going to call uh, Tommy Lasorda and tell him. Would you he, tell him to get back in charge of the squad? Give me a workout. Well, yeah. You want to go back in there? That you uh, used to be I a get, baseball pitcher. You get back yeah. in there and pitch, oh, man. It's unbelievable. You, you, I, I, I guarantee you one thing. What's that? They would know who's pitching. <laughs> I think they would. They really would. Now, listen, folks. Yes. Uh, um, here's Mitt Romney. Now, this is what's interesting. Uh, how, as I said, how the press attacks, and that's what it is, an attack on Mitt Romney uh, to do his to do Barry's bidding while he's out on David Letterman's show and uh, you know, <laughs> uh, you know uh, frolicking around uh, the evening news with you know, David lying Letterman, lying about uh, uh, Libya, lying about the uh, the uh, all of that stuff that's going on over there, that, and that's a whole other show we could do for you. And we're, we'll probably I'm gonna I'm gonna read some uh, uh, some stuff on that. Uh, essays are starting to come out about what happened, weeks, I mean, and I'm gonna bring in an essay that'll knock your socks off. I mean, the guy hasn't even addressed the country on this bombing in Libya. Anything he hasn't gone on television. Had one to, no, no, to, to, to talk to the people except no, no. on David Letterman's show. No, no. We, we got to ask Buffalo Mom what uh, what's for dinner. So uh, so here's the deal. Uh, Mitt Romney is asked. Do, do you worry that you've offended this 47 percent? You know, it's not elegantly stated. Let me put it that way. I'm speaking off the cuff in response to a, a question, and I'm sure I could state it more clearly and in a more effective way uh, than, I, than I did in a setting like that. Um, and so I'll, I'm sure I'll, I'll point that out as time goes on. But we don't even have the question, given the snippet there, nor the full response. But it's a, it's a message what I, which I'm going to carry and continue to carry, which is, look, the, the president's approach is attractive to people who aren't not paying taxes because, frankly, my discussion about lowering taxes isn't as attractive to them, and therefore I'm not likely to draw them into my campaign as effectively as those who are in the middle. This is really a discussion about, about the political process of, of winning the election. And, and, of course, I want to help all Americans, all Americans have a bright and prosperous future. And I'm convinced that the president's approach has not done that and will not do that. Now, now look, I'm just going to say to you right now, you, 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 see, you see obviously the problem. You've got the mainstream media saying to him, aren't you afraid that you are concerned at all about the feelings that you've heard of these 40, half the people in the country? He should say... What do you mean, apologize? I think Barack Obama should apologize what he's done to this country in the last four I years. Agree, I agree. Here's what he's done. So don't get on me about ap apologizing. You know what this is about. And go after it. Again, this is the, the tone of voice that the GOP has sidled him with. He, he, he's been told, be polite, be nice. Don't make people uh, hate you. You know, look, when you, when, you, uh, when you get out of the car and you realize the factory's burning down, you got to take off your sport coat and, uh, and, and start bailing water. This guy should not be apologizing for anything that he said. He should be demanding Barack Obama be apologize and go right after the mainstream press and turn this thing around on him. That's the difference between the GOP that I want and the GOP that we have. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned about how he answered this. I'm very concerned about the, uh, uh, about uh, how uh, 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 the Republican Party has d defined their great opportunity. There hasn't been an opportunity like this to come along for a, a Republican uh, a president, uh, a candidate for president, ever in the history of this world like it is right now. And here's the other thing we are talking about earlier. What's going to happen between now and, and uh, October 31st, Halloween, uh, in the Middle East? You know, if, if, if there's a war, Barry's in. Yeah. 
If there's a war, if there's an October surprise coming, and I'm going to tell you to you right now, folks, I said this uh, many months ago, the October surprise is the Middle East. And they have festered and they have, and they have allowed it to happen. Mm-hmm. All of this stuff that's acting out right now is not an accident what's going on. And, 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 uh, and, and uh, Mitt Romney and the Republican Party should be talking about this. They should be saying, look what's going on in the Middle East. That's right. This thing is being festered. You've got incompetent people in the government with an incompetent uh, a voice to the rest of the free world. This is a joke. Don't be surprised between now and the election if something happens over there. That's the October surprise. And I would come out and I would defuse it and I would say it. And when it happens, you're way, way, way ahead of the plan. Right now, the way the, way the GOP has Mitt Romney, he, he has him, they've got him a, a, a dialed way down and sedated. And, it's, and it, it is not something that I think is... Uh, uh, is a winning ticket. I, I don't think you're going to win. I agree with you. I, I, I you're think, not going to win no. doing this. I think the president of our country should be out talking about this, give it, putting our minds at ease, saying what's going to be done with those that attacked our embassy. And I think the only thing I heard is uh, Mitt Romney said he was appalled by this, but I still have waiting for Barack Obama to have a press conference, any kind of conference, except for being on David Letterman's show and yucking it up with uh, Dave. Yeah, that idiot. Gap yeah, Letterman Dave. should just go ahead and take over the evening news. They might get better ratings at the... Six, uh, seven o'clock hour. He, he's he's offensive, and uh, we, we really don't care about him. Uh, but this Mitt Romney response, the tone of voice, you know, oh, gee, maybe I should have worded it differently. Oh, gee, yeah, you're right, probably. Oh, gosh, gee. He's apologizing for having an opinion at, at, at a time when you got to go up and grab Barry by the neck and rub his nose in it. He's got to be attacked. You've got to show the American people, the people who are on the fence. And yes, out of that 47%, there's a lot of dummies out there who need to be awakened. There's more when we come back, folks. Don't go away. This is the PM Show coming to you from CRN Digital Talk Radio with the one and only Fred Dreyer. Check out Fred's Facebook page, Facebook forward slash The Real Fred Dreyer. And also, don't forget to email Fred, incoming at crni.net. That's incoming at crni.net.